guys, got a new video for you today. This is going to be on my Samsung Galaxy S5 and we're going to talk to you today about installing Alliance ROM on this device. Now if you haven't actually um, done any hacking or know anything about installing ROMs yet, please check out my videos on this device. It does go over everything to get you to the point where we're going to be to install this. Um, so prerequisites for installing this ROM, you're going to need to have super user uh, root access, you're going to need to have a safe strap, and you're going to need to have uh, the ROM downloaded. So let me show you what I got here. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you, we need to have super user zip downloaded. So that's actually in downloads for me. Where is it at right here? Super user update zip. There's actually two of them in there. Um, you're going to need the newest one, and I'll link you to it. And then besides that, you're going to need to have the ROM downloaded, which mine is in storage, external ROMs. Uh, right there is the Alliance ROM. We'll actually look at that really quick. Go to properties. And right there, Alliance ROM. This is build 1.1, .1, um, which is the newest build at this time. If there's a new build, definitely download it. This is brought to you guys by Beanstown, who is an awesome developer for the Verizon stuff. He makes all kinds of cool ROM, stock ROMs, all kinds of fun stuff for Verizon devices, S5 included. Uh, big props to him. Super excited to flash this thing and check it out. So all that being said, those are your prerequisites. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get into SafeStrap. I think we can boot to it from SafeStrap, but I'm not really sure. Let's see. Uh, reboot to recovery. It may work. It may not. If it doesn't, we can always hit that enter recovery button um, right over there when it pops up, if it comes up with a splash screen. But I think it's going to boot right into recovery. Looks like it should. Yes, it did. All right, so that works very nicely. Right now, we're on stock. Everything is in red. That means we're running our stock operating system. We want to install a ROM. So to do that, you're going to come over here to Boot Options, and you're going to activate one of these slots, okay? Um, if you haven't seen this done before, it's very simple. You just click on it, choose some sizes of your partitions and stuff, and, and create it. It takes about 10 minutes to do, so give it some time. I already got one created, and I've already named it Alliance, so I'm just going to go ahead and activate it. And now it's in green, and you can add, name it by doing this, set nickname right there. It's very simple. It's in green now, and we're on a ROM slot, so that's a good sign. It means we're rocking it. So from here, you're just going to go back. Everything's in green. No more red over here on your wipes and flash. We're going to wipe data. Back to reset really quickly. Very good. That means we have a clean slate to install on. And we're going to go to installs. We're going to find the Alliance ROM right there. And then we're going to add another ROM, or another zip. So add zip, and we're going to go find that uh, super user stuff here. So we should be in SD card, downloads, and then right here is the newest one, update super su version 2.01 zip. Click on it, make sure it's listed, it is. Now we're flashing both files, so we'll go ahead and swipe across to flash. So this is gonna go ahead and flash the ROM, which is the, you know, the bread and butter right there, and then it's gonna flash Super Sue after that to get root access on the ROM, and then from there you're gonna be uh, golden. Uh, we'll boot up the ROM, I'll show it to you, I'll show you a couple other things you gotta do in the ROM to get it fully set up, and we'll do kind of an overview of Alliance ROM on the Galaxy S5, keep watching. Okay, that's it. We have flashed the ROM. So from here, we're just going to go to uh, Reboot. Um, you can back up and do it differently, but Reboot system works uh, very easily as well. And here we go. We're going to have our first boot up of Alliance ROM on the Verizon Galaxy S5. You can see SafeStrap is enabled and in green. That means we're on a ROM slot. We're going to be booting a ROM slot, which should be that Alliance ROM. I'm a little curious to see the boot animation here. Hopefully it doesn't have any Verizon junk in it, and hopefully it's got some cool uh, Alliance ROM boot animation. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, baby! Yeah! Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Very cool. So what does it say? Never duplicated Alliance ROM, often imitated. It's kind of spinning since 2012, so two years ago. That's pretty cool. I've, yeah, I've seen Alliance ROM around for a while. Very sweet. Let's let this thing boot. Give it up to about five minutes. If it doesn't boot, you got an issue. You're going to have to get back and save strap and figure out what's going on. If it boots, we'll go through. Uh, I'm going to jump through all the setup and then we'll just come right back to it when I can show you guys the ROM. All right, guys, here we go. The ROM has fully booted. And um, just off the get go, I'm not really seeing too many changes. I do see what looks to be like some kind of battery icon up there with the percentage, which looks like an A with a circle around it. That's kind of cool. 
Um, definitely a little unique. Let's see what else we can see as we go through this. So scroll over, see kids mode. Very pretty standard looking through here. Um, it does have your My Magazine. If you swipe all the way over to the left. Uh, let's see what else we have on here. I'm just kind of curious if we hold down. We have wallpapers, widgets, home screens. Let's go check out wallpapers and see what we have there. Yeah, so there are some custom wallpapers. That's cool. So like Alliance, Alliance ROM, Alliance ROM, a bunch of different different custom wallpapers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Those are pretty sweet. I'm going to pick one of these. These look pretty cool. Where is the one that I like? Kind of like that one actually. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. So we'll set that up. Shabam! Cool, very, very cool. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Uh, placements of Alliance ROM right there, right in your little notification stuff there for what page you're on. Very sweet. Let's check out the app drawer. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do here right now to make sure this thing functions really and lets you do all the cool customization that you can do with it is you need to go into right here Alliance Manager. So we're going to click on Alliance Manager. And let's see what you have to do here. It said in the instructions, it says to create needed fol folder structure. So create custom zips, settings, themes, choose name, enter names. Let's see what I say. Create themes, choose themes, backup manager, create custom settings backup. I'm a little bit confused by uh, create needed folder structures. I think you just have to choose theme from Lions theme folder until SD card and click install I'm not sure how this really functions here so maybe uh, maybe actually come in here so I'm just gonna say choose a name so I'm gonna say uh, I'm just gonna call this I'm just gonna call this Tom just for right now and go to next and then that, that does it that's we'll do done so let's let's try one create theme Theme successfully in SD Card Alliance. That's interesting. Choose theme. Let's try that. All right. So here is a bunch of themes that are already in here. Plus one I created, but the one I created isn't really anything. Um, looks like a whole ton of stuff you can choose from. And here's Alliance Gold Zip, Carbon Blue. A bunch. Looks like a bunch of different coloring you can do on your device. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I wish I understood what he meant in his comments on the post about. Um, create needed folder structure. I'm not really sure how that functions. Um, let's actually do this. Create custom backup settings. I'm just curious if we can. I'll do it. I'll do another one like that. Say Tom. Yeah. So I think that may be all you need to do, just so you have a, a good idea of how it functions. So very neat. Um, so let's see what else we got in here. So Samsung apps, camera stuff. There's super user right there. ROM customizer, that's what's probably going to be the most fun to play with in here. Yeah, pretty standard. Let's go check out settings really quick. Oh, here you go. This looks a little different. You have your um, brightness right here. S Finder and Quick Connect are two quick buttons you can tap very quickly. Let's see what else we have in our pull down. Do 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 do. Use saver, multi window. Looks like a toolbox. Not sure what that is. NFC, power saver, I almost always turn that on, private mode, yeah, so pretty pretty decent, let's look at toolbox, oh, that's just this thing, I forgot that the S5 had that, that's pretty cool though, um, turn that back off, so pretty nice settings and stuff like that, let's go into the phone settings itself, okay, so this is really interesting, right off the get go here, I thought this was kind of cool, uh, download booster so it looks like download booster does function correctly on uh, Alliance ROM now Verizon normally didn't have this set up so I'm pretty pumped about that that's very cool that's definitely a uh, new wallpapers notifications toolbox I'm just seeing if there's anything different in here fingerprint um, right here custom settings let's see what, yeah so this is Alliance ROM settings Whoa, whoa, yeah, this is going to be intense. Um, power menu, let's go ahead and do that because I always like doing it. So from the power menu, you can uh, restart disabled. 
So uh, restart. Let's see. Let's just see what's on the power menu right now before we get too crazy with this. So off. Those are your options. So let's let's add a couple to it. Let's go restart. Let's go screenshot. Those are the two I really like using the most. So now let's try that again. You. Yeah. There you go. Restart. Take a screenshot. So very cool. Looks like these customizations are going to be insanely awesome. Uh, I can't even probably go through this. This could be a whole video, honestly, on just Alliance ROM settings. Let's just see. I think you can get into those another way, too. I think you can get into them from right here, ROM customiz Customizer. Let's see. This application. Oh, no, this is actually another cool application for customizing your ROM. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so... If you guys like modding and like customizing and theming your ROM, this Alliance ROM for the Galaxy S5 is wicked cool. Looks like there is all kinds of awesome, awesome applications and features built into it already. Probably, like I said, could do a whole video on that. So if you're interested in a ROM like this, um, that looks pretty much stock, but I'm sure you could probably make it look not stock at all. It could probably make this thing look you know almost AOSP I'm guessing with all of the settings that you have in here especially right here under where was it at custom settings this is what you're gonna wanna play with this is what's gonna be fun and be able to do all kinds of fun cool mods to your device there you go guys that's gonna be kinda of my overview here of Alliance ROM uh, how to install it how to do all that stuff um, again big props to Beanstown super super awesome ROM love it dude I um, can't wait to play with this thing and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.